Alright guys, welcome to this video. We are doing the review of the Fast Pack VP 250 AW second version. Long name, but this is by Low Pro. Low Pro, Low Pro. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Low Pro. But anyways, this backpack I had almost a week to a little bit less than a week to um, basically um, you know use it and see how it works for me um, I actually never owned a backpack that is specifically meant for cameras um, I have bags but this is my first backpack so the price on this was 89 I think at Best Buy but plus tax went all the way up to a hundred dollars um, so I'm gonna let you guys know if this backpack for feet is if it will work for you guys and if you should buy it for a hundred dollars <laughs> um, let's just start let's just get right into it um, the backpack itself this company makes so good like the quality is fantastic on these bags just having it for this whole um, week I definitely got to see how good the quality is all the little detail like how it says low pro right there all the detail on this is just amazing um, so just looking at it just looks like a standard backpack but it's not of course um, we have the straps they are really really um, soft and high quality we have I don't know what you call this um, maybe a waist strap yeah that's what you call it I think I think don't get me wrong anyways the race strap can be removed if you take it off so if you want to be a little bit more uh, sleek and um, not have these big things right here you can take it off if you want to it's it's nice that they come with it if you're like hiking or doing anything else these right here um, this is so if you have a suitcase you take the other one and you put on the suitcase um, I don't know if I'm gonna ever use that but I guess it's a nice feature to have so let's start off with we're starting from the outside into the inside so right here we have a thing for your water bottle but also it's not really meant it's meant for a water bottle but it's also meant for a tripod so you can put a tripod in here and strap it up with this clip strap it so that's really nice that they give you that because trust me when you were trying to travel you know go shoot a spot you know film a spot it's really hard to bring a tripod with you um, I actually stick with gorilla pod now but now I can have a tripod if I really wanted to so that's that's awesome right here we have if you open this up we have the raincoat so this is so if it rains you can protect all your expensive equipment. Um, I know I put a lot of equipment in here. I usually, sometimes I'll put two cameras in here, but this just goes over like so. It's a little bit hard to do, but you get it. it it's really nice. And then you just pull it up, stuff it back in here, and it's really good, really good. All right, we'll start with the top pocket. So the top pocket is just a normal size pocket, nothing really fancy. Um, it's about as deep as my hand, so I think that's pretty good. Um, don't know what you'll put in there, but I'm sure you can find a place. But I usually keep all my goodies, besides my camera, like my cameras and lenses, I usually keep my mics, my GoPro, hard drive, I put a battery bank right there, pencil, uh, um, 
you know, just you can put like tons of stuff in here. It has a zipper, a pretty deep zipper. You can put a tablet in there. Although they do have a place to put your tablet where we will get to later. Um, you can put your keychain, keys right here, um, mesh, two little pencil pockets, and then that pocket. Zippers are very high quality also. Um, but let's get to the computer and laptop space. The reason why I also got this backpack is because I have a 15 inch laptop slash computer and I can actually fit it in here because this holds a 15 inch laptop which is amazing for me because I mean 15 inch laptop that's that's pretty big that's a pretty big laptop but it also holds a tablet so that's nice hold the tablet right there and then your laptop right there so that's really nice and then they put orange on the zipper so you can see it better so you're not like oh which side was on okay so it's, you know easier to find it and it goes with the color scheme that they always go with all right so now we have where the camera stuff goes, the goodies, the real goodies. So that unclips. All right. Now we have this zipper. It shows that you can put your passport in here, maybe a notebook. But honestly, you can put anything that you really want to put in here, as long as it fits. It's a little thin, so I would say that you can. Maybe put a notebook, maybe write down some notes that you want to do a next film on. Um, I know I like to do that a lot. Alright, so now it's the spot where we've all been waiting for. Where do you keep your cameras? This is where you keep your cameras. This is what a camera bag looks like. They have all these sections right here, so you can put a camera in. Um, I usually put my, um, I put my camera, a camera right there, a camera right there, lens, lens, um, two lenses right there, and then you can put, I put um, my SD card right here, and then I put like battery charger right there, and then I don't really have a spot for this right now. Uh, oh yeah, I put my filters right there. And then I put my Gorilla Pod right there, fits perfectly. Uh, this is very high quality. You can also adjust all of these it, to your liking, you know. So I already spent like maybe half an hour adjusting it. I know it doesn't look too adjust, but trust me, I adjust it to my liking so it can hold the equipment that I carry. And it works good. I I don't have any issues with it, so that's a positive thing. Um, trust me, guys. If I had an issue with this backpack, I will tell you guys because you guys deserve to know. But then we have SD card holder. I'm pretty sure this is for the like big SD cards, but you can also put like tiny ones in there too. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using this that much because I do have a separate bag, like zipper, like card case, little bag that holds all my memory cards, so I don't really find a use for this. Um, I like to keep them way more protected than a little slot to put them in, but it's, it's a great feature for like, again, this is called the fast pack, so, you know, Everything is where you want it, and you can get it to you can get to it as quick as possible, um, which it really is. I mean, so let's say okay, let's say you have a camera right there. You just slide it out, bam. Let's go take some pictures. Let's go make a film. Let's go do some stuff, you know. But I don't really use it for that. I just unzip the whole thing. And then I keep cameras and stuff like that all in there. Um, I haven't ran out of space yet. I'm sure if I get another camera body, I'm sure it will 
I will have to get a bigger bag. But this is a big bag. I mean, this is the second number two. Says the name right there. Fast pack BP 250 AW2. Um, that meaning, I'm pretty sure the 150 or is it the two? I mean the one. I'm pretty sure it's smaller than this. So, so this is the biggest size they have. Um, but you can get like bigger backpacks that have where basically this whole thing is the whole thing. So you have tons of space for it. But I'm not. Um, I wanted this backpack so I can travel with it. I can have all my stuff in there, like my drone, which I'm going to put in the top. And then also have, you know, room for stuff that are not really related to camera stuff. Like, you know, my computer, my laptop. Um, why did I say computer and laptop? My computer. I can have my um, tablet in there. Um, it's it's a really good pack, backpack. And I think it, it was worth $100. Um, maybe not that much money. If I... If I could tell you guys, I think it, I think it can go down in price a little bit, but that's just because I don't really want to spend a hundred dollars on a backpack. But spending a hundred dollars on this, I think was worth it. So I definitely think I got my money's worth of it. So if you guys want to check this out, um, I will put a link in the description down below um, to Amazon um, or Best Buy, whichever. Is the cheapest. I'll find the cheapest for you and put the link down in there so you can get the best deal for your money. Anyways, guys, this is the Low Pro Fast Pack 250 AW2. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button also. And if you guys want me to do another review on this, or not on this, but Another, another review on a different backpack or maybe a camera or a lens, you know? It gotta be it gotta be cheap though too because you know I'm on a budget. I'm a, I'm a budget filmer. So you know maybe under a hundred dollars and maybe I'll check it out and make a review on it if you guys really want. So that was this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, link will be in the description to this backpack. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.